Hey guys and welcome to another video. So this is going to be another video um, from an article that I came across that I thought was fairly interesting. So obviously when you travel, the one thing that you need is a passport. So basically like, especially when you're out of the country, like if there's one thing that you, you cannot lose, it's your passport because basically this allows you to get out and come back in and uh just some of the stories is like for those who lost the passport having to go to the nearest consulate to you know apply for one it's a hassle so like i'll probably like when i'm abroad i'd rather you know lose my wallet um you know even maybe lose my phone before you know i give up my passport because at least this i'm guaranteed to come back to the country um if you lose it who knows how long that takes but that's not really a rabbit hole that anybody wants to go through so coming across this article as far as you know what's for 2020 what are the most powerful passports currently and obviously if i were to ask you some that would come to mind that you would think would you know be the united states or possibly an english passport or possibly anywhere from uh scandinavia but after reading this list and this is uh by henley passport index so it is legitimate so it gave a top 10 in terms of like what are the most powerful passports for 2020 and i'll read you a couple off the top so starting with number one it's actually japan and if you have a japanese passport you get to go to 191 destinations visa free so basically for those who don't know is sometimes when you go to a country depending on where you come from you need to get a visa in order to get there and sometimes in order to get a visa sometimes it could be an easy process such as going online for that country or you know going to a service that offers visas for that country that you're going to and you just fill out a you know online form basically the dates that you're going to why you're going um, this is mainly for uh, what they call travel visa. It's different if it's actually a work visa, but just assuming it's travel, um, it's fairly easy in some cases. You may have to pay anywhere from like thirty to seventy dollars. So me personally, the last visa that I had to get that I had to get in terms of travel was going to Brazil. I was actually surprised, you know, being American, having to need a visa to get there. But it was fairly simple. You know, I found a good online service. And it was about 50 to 60 dollars, but it was instantly. So basically once you filled out, filled out the form and you paid within a week or two, you know, they uh, mailed you your visa. You just print it off and they, you know, that's what you need to present when you go through passport control when you arrive there. Um, but yeah, if you have a Japanese passport, 191 destinations visa free. So I think there's right now about 275, 276 countries slash uh, sovereign places in the world. So basically that's uh, more than half. So that's number one is Japan. Number two is Singapore, which is just underneath Japan at 190. Number three is South Korea and Germany with 189. And then number four is Italy and Finland. Like I mentioned, Scandinavia, one of them bound to be on this list, 188 destinations. So I was actually surprised that America actually came in at number eight with 184 destinations. So Japan um, has seven more destinations than America, but still relatively, I mean, I'm not gonna go through the whole list, but the, those are basically the top. But basically these are the countries, if you have a passport, it's pretty much powerful in terms of like all the major countries as far as let's say tourist destinations that you can think of. You can pretty much go there visa free and not have to worry about any of that other, you know, documentation and sometimes hassle that you have to go through. So, you know, for example, like the least powerful passport in 2020 is Afghanistan with, um, they only have access to 26 destinations worldwide so it shows a big difference in terms of having a passport let's say from america japan finland and italy to having one from afghanistan obviously for a number of reasons you know probably mainly being political not going to get into it but afghanistan um, is the lowest and then in terms of uh 
countries visa free they can get to and then others that fill in the bottom five are iraq syria pakistan and somalia so i'm going to leave an uh, article a link to this article in the description but i thought this was interesting um you know passports are kind of a cool thing in terms of like the use for them uh how you know the different colors for them what's in the passports in terms of depending the country that you're from so you know i've always found it interesting especially when you're in the passport line for those like you know the people that are in front of you or maybe behind you depending on you know if you're talking with it it's always interesting um looking at other countries as passports kind of like what the symbol is and kind of like what's inside and like the story and history behind it it's like a little miniature booklet so it is very valuable and just know that if you are you know on this top list in terms of you know all these countries that you can get to visa free you know be thankful you know don't take it for granted because it's like you know it's awesome to be able to go to another country and basically all you have to do is show up with a passport you know they stamp you in and then you know you get to you know travel inside there if you're going on a travel for at least 30 days so just be, th be thankful if you're on this list i am at least you know as far as having a usa passport so again, everyone, I'm going to leave a link to this article down below. I thought it was interesting. Maybe you might find it interesting as well. And feel free to pass it along. So with that, everyone, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I release a new video every week. And if you found it interesting or, or of any value, please like and subscribe. That would mean so much to me. And again, everyone, thanks for watching the video. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.